when you're flying in from another country. And they say, what's the purpose what's of your, your occupation? visit? Horse breeder. Okay. Yeah. That's Horse a polite breeder. way of saying it. Yeah. The Campfire with Mark Forward and Jonathan Torrance. Bobby, so your grandfather got into the horse business when you were eight or nine. Yeah. How? What did he do? He got a racehorse. Her name was Raphael de Cavalier. She was French. Okay. Actually, yeah. <laughs> I take issue with this already. Yeah. What do you mean she was French? Well, the mare was French. You could go in the, the stall and, and the people talked French to her. So if you gave her a command, it had to be in French or she, she didn't understand. Yeah, that's, that's true. <clears throat> so animal, I get it. Yeah, oh, I yeah. Mean, animals understand different languages. Sure, think about dogs. I will. Yeah, Google it. <laughs> Raphael de Cavalier. Which is French for Raphael of Cavalier. I don't know what it means. So <laughs> did he breed her? Yes. He did? Yes. Were you witness to that? Yeah, they used to do it out in the yard. Now when you say do it out in the yard. You know what I mean. No. Well, you know, the male horse climbs on to okay. the, you know, the, the old fashioned so way. Old fashioned way, naturally. Yeah. Naturally. The way, the way God intended. Yeah. So the horses used to do it the natural way. That's the way your grandfather started doing. Yeah. Technology has changed this transaction. Yeah. Okay, so walk us through an let's average walk day. Walk us through. You show up at work. You put on your gloves. Yeah. Right. You put I, on your splatter suit. Well, you have to have a mare that's in heat. Okay. Right? So copper. <laughs> Probably want to hear this, bud. So we had this old mare. Her name was Threatening Storm, and she was super old. And there's something wrong with her. She was always in heat. <laughs> Yep, every day. I love so, it. So we used her. So oh, when I say Jesus. we use her, we, we have this stock. We yeah. have this thing called the breeding shed, and we put her in there, and somebody stands there, and they feed her oats. She loves oats. So she'd eat oats, and the horse would come over, and he'd sniff her. Okay. And, you know, she'd give him the, the bedroom eyes, and then, you know, you could uh, see, you know what that is? He would drop down. Yeah, yeah he'd drop down, and then... He'd get excited, and we had him trained right beside the mare that was in the thing. We had this, it's called the dummy, and it's just this thing built in cement on the floor, and it's a, it's a great big padded structure, and we make it resemble a horse. I even pinned a tail on the end of it. So we had him trained to smell her, get all excited, and then we have him trained to jump on this thing. It's called an AV, which is short for an artificial vagina. So yeah. it's this great big, thing this long yeah and you put hot water in it and then you put the gel in it right yeah so it it comes with this little holder it, it's like a briefcase so you what have, does the gel do oh well is it strictly a, a lubricant? lubricant yes cool 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 because you, you can cut it you know if there's if there's friction and he gets excited so it's like a uh, yeah what are those called for men now yeah yeah so but this has been going on for horses for a long time and just come out for humans? <laughs> <laughs> Not all horses would um, prefer the AV method, right? Yeah. Some must prefer the traditional method. Yeah. So are there some horses for whom that's like, no, that's not going to fly. I know that's, the difference. That's a fact. That's a good question because you are right. They get tired of that same old mare too. Yeah. Don't think they don't. So we'd have to take them out into the middle of the yard. Same thing other than instead of him jumping on this dummy, we had to jump him on the real mare. And it's dangerous because his feet are flying and her feet are flying. And I'm right there in the middle with my little suitcase trying to do the magic trick. And it's not easy. It's downright dangerous. So, uh, hang on, you're skipping over so much. So you're getting underneath while they're they're going. Yeah. Well, I have to. And I, are you I, I are have, you pulling him I have out? To, I have, no. I you're have, putting him in. You do the switcheroo. He doesn't know the difference. Oh, so you're pulling it out and putting so it I, in the. I grab it and guide it in the AV, and oh, he thinks okay. it's in the. Okay. The mare. Okay. And, like you know, a car wash after the suds, but before the dryer. <laughs> like you have to hop in there then, right? That's right. Yeah. The yeah. window is small. Yeah. Yeah. Have you ever um Have you ever had? the substance on you? Oh, yeah. Like, what, what does it look like? Oh, well, I don't know. Kind of like coffee cream, I suppose. And it's viscous. Yeah, viscous, yeah. Is it Volume-wise? Just... Yeah. A, a cup? Yeah. Half a cup? Yeah, it depends. I mean, if you're using them every day, like, and 
some horses have bigger testicles than others. Bigger testicle means bigger volume. Hmm. It's just like a... Could you not wink at me when you say things like that? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I had a mosquito in my eye. Oh, right. <laughs> like in the Tim Hortons coffee cup, what size? Uh, half of it. Half of it. Half of a large? Yes. Yeah, half of the new large or well, the old large? Ah, uh, the old one. So then what happens? Well, then you have to mix the extender. The extender is like semen food. Mix it together, stir it up, and suck it into syringes, 20 mil syringes. Cap it, put it in a styrofoam box. Okay. There's a layer of styrofoam over the top, then you put one of them ice packs. What's and, the life of that? Oh, about 36 hours. Okay. So what does the extender do? Extend the life of the semen? It gives the semen food, like, I don't know. Is it what like is a sourdough? It? Yeah, I What suppose. does horse <laughs> semen eat? <laughs> I, I, it eats Wendy. Sh sugar. <laughs> <laughs> I can't imagine. No, what that's it that's eats. true, boys. It it it's like sugar water. I think. Okay, everything loves everything sugar. Everything loves waters. sugar. How do you have to um, gain the trust of the mayor to insert that magic elixir in there? Yeah. Well, I'm pretty good at that because I have super long arms. I think that's why the Lord gave them to me. I can stand beside a mare and, and shove my arm in there, and she can kick and she can't touch me. So how deep? Uh, oh, right to here. How deep is your love? Oh yeah, right to here. There's, there was these student vets that came to the farm and they've never did that before, so right. we, we've had them try, and they could not because they were either too short or their arms weren't long enough, so they they could never ultrasound. Okay, so you're going shoulder deep in her. Yep. And how deep do you have to be? Well, you have to be... You could just be wrist? Yeah. No, you can't reach. You can't reach. So it's halfway up a horse? Pretty much, yeah. Well, the cervix, like I have to... Th I have this long straw. It's about this long. I should have brought them. Yeah, I, yeah. I, I could have given you a demonstration. That would have been good. I'm, I'm sorry. If I would have had my car, I'd have all that stuff in there. Just in case? Yeah, well, I... <laughs> yeah. Um, so the secret cervix. Yeah. That's what you're looking for. Oh, yeah, you gotta poke your finger through it and then you gotta thread the straw through it and then the straw is sticking out the back and you have to, like, it's quite a process. And then you have to get the, remember the tube of semen I was telling you about? Yeah. yeah. To get that out of your pocket, take the cap off it and insert. Do you have a special pocket? Yeah, I do. I have a pair <laughs> of bibs. While she's standing there? Yeah. You have your arm upper? Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Is any part of that enjoyable for her? I don't know, I never asked. Well, what's the reaction when you enter her? They they don't mind, I don't know. Okay. I, I mean, they're in heat, right? So this is the only time we do that is when they're in heat. I don't know what they'd say about it. What's your ratio of like hits? Oh, we do pretty good. I do a lot of the mares up around my hometown. Like I do the draft mares too. Did you ever see like a 2,500 pound draft mare? Yes. I can get my arm right in there. <laughs> Right to here. <laughs> you fried it in the length of your yeah. arm. It was great. Yeah. So are you saying though, like this is the size of of a horse's Pretty much. Penis? Well, I don't know. I I suppose. Yeah. So is any... delivering horses part of your job too? Oh yeah. Like you're there for the birth too. I have it right on my phone. I have a full alarm, my phone rings, and then I check them on my phone. I look at the phone and I can see what's going on and if, if it's going on I go to the farm and What's the survival rate? Oh, we do good. We yeah. usually lose one in 10. Okay. And things can get pretty gruesome there too. It's it's not for everyone. It's kind of sad, but uh, we, we've lost the, the mares. Uh, yeah, it's sad, but I mean, you know, whenever you get into this, that can happen. And something else cool that happens is uh, you can take this foal and this mare that she lost her foal and usually... Trick them? Yeah. Wow. Usually it'll work. They um, just... It doesn't always work, but we've done that before. They're just so happy to, to see a baby. When you see a little foal, is, is that why you do it? So you work so hard to get that foal. Once you get the foal, then it's... Yeah, that's the reward. But do you also feel like you're God? Yeah, sometimes. Thanks for watching the campfire with Mark Forward and Jonathan Torrens. You look over your pasture of created animals that wouldn't have been created without your long yeah. arms. Yeah, they are long. <laughs>